Well, um, my st I've got a bigger stick, you see here, um, which I'm very happy about. And um, now what changes for me is the fact that the storyline from last year, the terrible thing that happened to Anna is something that is to be resolved this series. So that's ongoing, that hasn't gone away. Um, so that's, that's the main thrust of our kind of storyline through, throughout this series and how, we, and how we as a couple handle it and what happens to us uh, judicially and the uh, investigation into what happened to this man. It's, um, it's, it's pretty amazing actually because I think last series, I mean, I didn't really know who she was. You know, I, I, I sort of, and to see where it goes and, and what, what happens and, and who she becomes. And there was that real question of like, is she good, is she bad? Like, who is she, what's she doing there? And I think a lot of those questions are answered this series and you, you understand her motivations. Really, sort of Anna and Bates do start season five in a place of more positivity, but obviously, as you would imagine, you know there is this, still this cloud hanging over them, and um, the you know incident with Mr. Green's death is still being brought back up, and it's they, something they can't escape. So it's it's very difficult for them to sort of find any space to sort of heal and move forward. So it's still you know there's still a few ups and downs for Anna and Bates. Edith is in the in a dark place really so she's had her baby and we saw in the end of last series that she couldn't really cope with having the child left in Switzerland so she's gone back taken her child and she's now living down the road um, with the Drew family who have adopted her who don't know that Edith is her mother so it's a sort of a world of secrets and an agony for Edith really. I know it's really weird I was in the uh doing a scene with Brendan Cole, who plays Mr Bates the other day and I said I, can, I said, I said, do you realise it's nearly five years to the day that we were in this very room, you know, filming our first sort of bow tie, doing up a bow tie scene. It's strange, the time has flown, it really has. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, there, there are times when, it, when, when Robert as a character has been uh, it's a slight, something of a dinosaur, I think you could say, a bit reluctant to uh, put his, dip his toes into the modern world. Uh, and he thinks uh, at the beginning of series five that the world is collapsing around him because uh, <clears throat> Ramsay MacDonald is in power, the Labour government are going to destroy the very fabric of this wonderful estate and all his inheritance and everything else. Um, so it's all doom and gloom. But in fact, uh, he survives, they survive, and he embraces uh, the modern world and modern views in a way that is quite surprising to his uh, daughter and to Branson, who's you know, running the estate with him. Um, so I think he's, uh, he's actually back on form as a, as a, as a, a conservative by, by birth and by by instinct, but uh, but also liberal by nature, and he's a he's a quite a forward-thinking guy. So I'm pleased that that sort of element of him has come back, and he's not quite such a sort of you know um, dinosaur idiot. <laughs>